world, man. World's best host, yours truly, E.T., man. We are locked inside of the galaxy right now. Um, today, I'm greeted by a very beautiful brown-skinned woman, uh, very tall, very talented, uh, very like everything, and she's had a career already before the age of 30, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Everything from Disney, South Carolina, uh, to L.A., to everything else is going on. Please introduce yourself to the world, Babby. Hey, y'all. It's Coco Jones. Coco Jones. <laughs> Back again. Now, I will say this to you. Your song, your current record that's in every club, because I host about seven clubs a week. Wow. And um, I cannot go anywhere without that song having to be played. You, in the club? It, let me tell you something. You have literally brought back R&B music, slow jams, to the club. What? Yes. I mean, you ain't heard this before. You ain't heard this before? I mean, like the club at night? The club at nighttime. I'm talking about, woo, party time. And there's a set, like, because your your song now has reopened the door for other songs to be mm -hmm. played at nighttime mm -hmm. in the club again. Wow. I need to see that. Oh, well, come on to R&B Wednesdays at VVS. I got you. I bet that. Because it's, it's panty raising and escalades, but your song's <laughs> definitely getting played. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Coco Jones, so uh, uh, um, I was looking at some of the information, and you know, I'm not a big Google fan because mm -hmm. I know you can buy information on Google now, so I use Brave and DuckDuckGo. I had but no I, idea. Yeah, I just don't worry. I'm a tech nerd. Don't worry about it. Okay. So I went on Brave to like look some information. So I was under the impression that um, you're, you're from California, but are you from South Carolina? or I was born in South Carolina. So born in South Carolina. And I was raised in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, so that that information was correct. Mm -hmm. So whoever told me California, y'all kissed my ass, bro. Y'all lied to me. Don't act like it was Google who said that. They did it. It was. It was. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> All right, E.T. now. <laughs> All right, so tell me t uh, tell me this transition though because you had a time where you were you were signed mm -hmm. and then at 2014 you were like dropped from the label? Yeah. How did Well, I started singing professionally when I was 9 and I started working with Disney Channel when I was like 12. Yeah. I had been singing all around Nashville wherever I could, wherever me and my mom could find and I ended up doing this talent competition and the judge was so impressed with me that he worked with me for free for 2 years. And I made this little demo EP. My mom printed yeah. it out on her PC. I don't know how she did that still. But I sa I saved the EP and I gave it to um, just a casting director at one of these big cattle calls. You know, they have those all the time. Like, your kid can be a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so many kids. And I gave them my EP. I was like, find out about me. Okay? You'll, you'll know my name. Right. A couple years later, I started working with Disney Channel. And then I did a very big made-for-TV movie with them that was a, the number one movie of that year. And it kind of changed my life. So, of course, from there... Everybody wants a piece, Everybody and they want they want to like you know expand on and, and this, then, and this then feeling the, that worked. And then what label calls and says, "Hey, we want you." Well, lol. I guess I would say um, with Disney Channel, typically they work a lot with Hollywood Records. Okay. Like, I mean, it's just kind of like not really a package deal, but ideally you're, you're probably going to go over there because they cross. Um, market so whatever songs you have they're going to put them in your tv show whatever tv show stuff you do they're going to make sure that they can tie your music in they kind of like cross market and right or, or I at least they had done that a lot in the past with other previous like disney stars so that's what they were planning to do with me and it just you know plans don't always come into fruition if you don't have the right team and if they don't really know how to do that plan but make it work for a black girl you know yeah so i think it was kind of like experimenting with me to see if it was going to work and not really, you know, being seeing things eye to eye. And I think for me, I was coming into my own age, so I didn't really know how to say I want to be myself because I didn't really know myself. I had only done roles and sang songs that I was right. told to sing for a really long time. So I you 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 was you was growing up playing characters and Absolutely. not even trying to really discover yourself yet. Yeah. So when I got dropped, I was so sad. Sad as hell. But I got to be normal. I got to go outside. I met like my best friends, and I was at college parties. I did, I did not go to college, but I went to them college parties. Yes, okay. I was did. up on that campus campus, and I got to like experience real life. And then I had something to say. Because I had lived, yeah, and I had like loved and lost, and I could write. That's a um, that's a good point. Do you think that's the reason? When I listen to you, you come across as if the words you are singing are so impactful. Like it's it's almost like you mean every single syllable that's coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. When I hear I see you, I'm like, man, she went through something here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems so real. Is that is that the reason why? Because like, like that blessing of them letting you go and then you got a chance to experience life, that's why the words come out so meaningful. Absolutely. I really had to learn how to be authentic and myself because 
I, when you're raised in like the industry, especially Disney Channel, where you have to be so cut and proper, like I would literally censor myself. So when I would sing, I wouldn't write about the things that I would say to my friends and I didn't know how to bridge the gap. So I had to fight to be like, it's okay that I say what I really feel or yeah. it's okay that I tell the truth. Like yeah. that's what real artists do. I had to like unlearn these things. And yeah. so now all I do is go hard with my feelings yeah. and like really, really be authentic because I was so scared to do that for such a long time that I just want to jump in. And I feel, I could be wrong, but it just looks like to me too, the the, the, the type of songs you're choosing to sing mm -hmm. are honest songs about um, a vulnerability in a time where, in my opinion, uh, the push of this not being vulnerable as a woman is like this thing now. Yeah. You know, where it's like, I can't just sit there and say, yo, I, I, I spun the block on a guy I yeah. missed because I, I missed him and I loved him. Mm -hmm. Or, and then ICU comes out, it's like, it's the way that you touch me. Mm -hmm. Those are all things that we haven't heard in a long time of just honesty, mm -hmm. you know, and people, and so many people can relate to that. Mm -hmm. um, how has that turned out for you when people come to you like, yo, this song is the song I've been missing. Like, is, do you get a lot of that now? Yes. So I do get a lot of love from my culture, which is very heartwarming because I want to present another option for my black girls. I want us to be able to be vulnerable yeah. and that be like allowed. And it's just, you know, I feel like music is so powerful that yeah. I just want to make sure whatever I'm saying is bringing people up, bringing my, my women up and, is being really honest and being what you want to see. I don't want to always be saying, you know, this guy ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, Because then yeah, that's yeah. all I'm going to keep seeing. So I'd rather be like, man, this person is so important, their spirit, and it, it uplifts me so that I can see that. And, and then I attract that. that kind of energy yeah, that absolutely. you're looking for. Words are powerful. Music is powerful. So all I'm right. very conscious of everything that I say, and I love when it connects with my culture. Something that... Uh, I would say too is the, the you sing from here like mm -hmm. you got this. Mm. Uh, I, I haven't heard. I don't really normally hear that in, in normally today's singers. Mm -hmm. So what I generally try to uh, find out is that when I hear someone like you, it makes me think that you were raised and listened to singers who had to sing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So give me some of those. Who were that? I mean, my mom was pretty much my team when we had no team. Okay. And she would always tell me. If you can sing these songs, you can sing anything. So I was singing Whitney Houston, right. Aretha Franklin, CeCe Winans, Mariah Carey. I was belting. Yeah. Fighting for my life with those high notes. Right. But it taught me so much about channeling emotion. It taught me so much about uh, my range and how to go really low and, and high. I was I was singing this same type of way as a kid. Right. Some of my ad-libs in my old songs is crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really give her a lot of credit because I, if I'm not educated on my history, I really don't know where I need to go. And, yeah. you know, it's so important to know what came before me to help mold me into the right version of myself, yeah. you know? Because you're at this level now to where I've always said that uh, no matter the times that we live in where people are just uh, grabbing for the views, mm -hmm. it, there's a difference between having views mm -hmm. and having fans. Yeah. And I know we live in a social media time, people think viewers are fans. Like, that's not the same. Yeah. You, uh, if, I, if I'm driving down a freeway and a car accident's going on and there's traffic, am I a fan of that car accident or am I just viewing it? And that's how a lot of these artists are to me sometimes. <laughs> I don't need you to say it because I see you laughing. But, <laughs> but, I, but I know how it goes down. But when I hear you, I was like, I don't get that. I'm like, you actually have fans mm -hmm. because you're connecting with them. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever take any type of lessons on tones and frequencies? I did have a couple of moments where I was working with a vocal coach. I think I remember one moment, too, where I was really trying to, like, increase my range. Mm -hmm. and I was trying to find, like, this different pocket of singing that I had seen other artists have and I wanted to figure out how to do that myself so I went to a, a vocal coach who was like very popular in expanding range and everything right. but I, I never really it never really lasted because I always felt like they would alter the way I learned how to sing and it would kind of make me feel um like I had to start from scratch right and I was like that just doesn't make sense you know right. like some somebody that plays piano and all that they did was learn it from ear and now you got to go back to the basics you know what I'm saying just so you can be yeah. classically trained it's like well, I've been doing it this way my whole life and the same feeling and the same effect, so I'm going to just stick with what I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, it's kind of like, uh, I guess, when you're saying from a vocal perspective, imagine like a makeup artist, mm -hmm. and they're, they're just putting on makeup, but it's like mm -hmm. you're supposed to make it look like it's yeah. not there. Yeah, like, you know, exactly. But you're trying to change how mm -hmm. I look. That's not mm -hmm. the same thing. That's very true. That's yeah. very true. I would definitely be open to it more because there's a lot more that I want to work on, like... Um, my vocal longevity during a show like I, I know Beyonce's show was like two and a half hours or something right. like 
Am I ready for that? Well, no. I want to be prepared, though, just in case. Right. Any uh, any music artist that you listen to that's outside of your genre of music that's, like, influential for you? Oh, yes, absolutely. Right now, I'm really into, like, jazz. So okay. There, oh, my gosh. There's this, this girl, Samantha Joy. I think she just won a Grammy. But she's, her voice, I literally feel like I'm back in time. She's a jazz a musician and she's so beautiful so yeah i listen to my outside of my genre all the time right i've always noticed that too when it comes to like a lot of different artists a lot of people think that they're just only stuck and i'm like that's just what they do mm -hmm. but most people uh being in the radio game and being in the podcast game i've always told people like outside in the world i'm like to y'all there's different genres mm -hmm. but to the artists we're they're behind the scenes working like just rappers working with country singers and vice versa like you don't even know who's working with who because it's just music to everybody and to to, to the artists you mm -hmm. know what i mean anybody that's outside of the genre that you want to work with hmm um let me think i w hmm i would have to think about that more i you know i would because really you know there's some something. great rock bands that I think would love, like if you took like if, imagine, you, yeah. imagine you got with an old, <laughs> an old metals band, and they just Yo, started. Yo, what, the, what am I supposed to do on that track? I'm just exactly. That's, that's my point, up. though, is I don't know. That's fact. But I would love to see someone from that era, like, yo, I got this guitar riff for you. Or maybe one day I and would then, do that. And then, like, here's, you know, it's so-and-so and Coco Jones. Like, yo, how did that even happen? I would do that. You know, I could definitely see, like, something like EDM. Yeah. I feel like a lot of R&B singers do, like, they do, like, that crossover song. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, like, yeah. It's not really my voice for real singing out. It's like, uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, Calvin Harris, they, they be making some bops that be in all the overseas I, clubs. So I what's get that? it. Yeah. I'll pop into that, and I want to do something in gospel. Definitely want to do something in country because I'm, you know, from Original Nashville. gospel or something you want to remake? I would, I either, either, honestly. I would remake a classic. I would work, like, there's so many amazing, like, like Marvin Sapp, and mm. I could do something with him. I, I learned hella ad-libs from him. He's fire. Yeah. Um. There's so many, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, anybody been hitting you up lately on some, like, yo, my bad, I got it wrong? Has anybody had to apologize to you for, for not not believing in me or something? For not believing in you. Um, it's not necessarily like an outright apology. It's just like the energy switch up. It's like, oh, now you're now you're pressed. But, oh, because but before I was pressed, right? You know, it's I like didn't I didn't recognize it. So and because everyone else recognized it, now right. I'm gonna recognize it. Back then they didn't want me. Now, now I'm hot. They, they all, all on me. me. Right. It definitely gives that sometimes, but I don't look at it and take it too personal because sometimes it's really just. There's a lot going on in that person's life. And sometimes it's really just not your time, you know? So I can't look at the people who didn't believe or weren't pressed to make it happen as, like, they're wrong. I just look at it like that was the wrong path and this is the right path. So it's what it is. When you're doing this kind of artwork that you're doing right now, right, you have now getting to the level to where people are starting to recognize you. You can't go anywhere. Is that getting on your nerves yet? Nah, it's not getting on my nerves yet. I still definitely do some <laughs> stuff that is like ridiculous, like be outside by my whole self. Right. And my team be like, why? And I'm like, Let freedom, freedom. Uh, uh, she's uh, breathing hard. My man, and, and my manager her with eyes. the deep five. <laughs> she's like, I, <laughs> if this little dude only knew. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. You no, know, I think it, for me, I'm like just like reveling in my last moments of. of normalcy of normalcy because i just want to remember them like i and, i want to remember and let's let's be honest okay you're you're a country you're a tennessee girl mm -hmm. so like you know if anything that i've known, known about you know men or women from the country like there's there's some mud playing going on we want to play we want to go in the, <laughs> we want to go in the forest we want to go on the all right now mud play it's not giving that over here <laughs> I'll be relating to Hillary on that regard. I, 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 maybe, it's not I giving, ain't doing that one. It's not giving camping. It might be giving glamping. We can glamly camp. Glam camp? But no, nah, I'm not trying to be so like... camping with a chandelier. Absolutely. Oh, that's it. It's a bus It's break. a tour bus, but and we outside. It's a tour bus camping, but we are outside. We are. And make We're sure that Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi. In a, in exactly. a tour bus. Exactly. I'll go visit it, and then when, it get, when the bugs come out, when yeah. the bugs come out yeah. at night, then I'm going back in the trailer. In trailer time. Yeah. Okay, there um, it is. But yeah, I just want to enjoy my normalcy, and I feel like I'm a very normal person. Like yeah. I'm very down to earth. All of this is my job and my passion. But it doesn't make me who I am. I've yeah. been myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has it hard to like um, to turn down people approaching you for dating now? <laughs> Nar. <laughs> they, can, <laughs> they can get turned down, but <laughs> and not in a real way. Hell no, y'all. Skirt. It's, if anything, I'm very much more tactical with how I move. Yeah. Because I would hate for something to be on the internet because the internet is permanent, and I wasn't 
sure about that person, and it just wasn't the right look for me. Yeah. So, um, no, it's not harder to turn them down. It's, like, isn't more that, necessary. Isn't, isn't that difficult, though? I, I've always told somebody else, like, like the, when people talk about, oh, you should have noticed certain things about this person, whoever it is, in the mm-hmm. beginning, I always think that's, that's impossible. You ne- A murderer never come to you and go, hey, how are you doing? I'm, my name is so-and-so. I plan on killing you today, and I'm going to eat your flesh. Like, that doesn't happen. Oh, my God. You don't meet that person like that. They You, you meet the representation of whoever that is. Yeah. So that's kind of hard, right? Wouldn't you think it's difficult? Of course it's difficult to get to know anybody true intentions yeah. this is the world yeah. this is this is not heaven this is earth so how do you how does someone get a up. chance with you consistency what is that what does that look like to you what does consistency look like to you like is that calling you is that sending you hey just checking up on you did you eat today what's going on do you need me to buy you some new packs of hair what's cracking that's crazy <laughs> i'd be like well what brand <laughs> um consistency in all areas like i feel like you make time for what's important to you. Mm. And I definitely want somebody who's also on their hustle. Like, I can't be the only one working because I'm grinding right now. Yeah. Like, I want to see that in the person that I, you know, I'm interested in. It's about respect. It's but, the balance, right? So yeah. can, can we grind together when we're apart, but also make me a part of the grind Absolutely. so that I know that I'm involved with what you got going on? Absolutely. The intentionality is really going to go the distance, especially because I'm in an industry where it's just the more genuine, the more I'm like, what? You know, it just really sticks out to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't want it in anything to feel fake. It's, I just deal with that all the time in LA. You know what I'm saying? So oh, consistency yeah, and being genuine and character. Like, first of all, I'm gonna ask you the way you ask me some good questions right now because mm-hmm. you're, you're serving with this interview. Thank you. I will also <laughs> be doing that to these people that are trying to be a part of my life. Yeah. Uh, these questions are gonna be questioning. Yeah. Because I want to know if I'm wasting my time. You know, you know what's so crazy? There was a guy, I'm not going to say his name, but um, <laughs> he, he, the reason I don't want to say his name is because he, he he's, he's a controversial guy. But the statement that he made made a lot of sense. He said, I don't date to date. I'm looking to get married. Mm. And everyone that I'm in contact with, I let them know, I'm looking to get married. These are mm-hmm. my things that I'm into, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I'm like, I thought that's a very honest way to look at things. Everyone's looking just to date. Yeah. And I think it's kind of backwards because if you're dating, then then, then you're going to have loopholes and you might have, yeah. you know, but if you're looking to like, I'm looking to establish a relationship for future marriage and, and whatever else your desires are within that marriage, right? Whatever that dynamic is for you. Yeah. But no one really like, kind of like dates them. They don't look for that. They talk about dating, not looking for a lifelong partner. Yeah, I think I've met women who are on the lifelong partner type of time. So I'm like... Mm. They're out there, the ones that are looking for something about serious. Five of them, I see them. Oh, please. Come on now. <laughs> but no, I agree. I think dating to marry and stay married, too. Like in this culture, I just feel like, I th- are we staying married? Well, because like, we staying married? I think there's a difference between this is, uh, we're just talking now, but mm-hmm. I think there's a difference between people that are looking, uh, that, that are uh, looking for love mm-hmm. and are in love with what it takes to stay in love. That's a fact. That's a That's real a different real thing. Different thing. You know what I mean? Because we can have fun and be love. You can be in love with someone for a lot of different things, mm-hmm. but you're not even in love with what it takes to stay in love. And then that's why things fall apart. A lot yeah. of the times, I don't think people. Oh, we just grew out of each other. I'm like, no. It's ugh. and I mean, I wouldn't want to walk a mile in their Louis Vuittons to find out what it was like in right. that relationship. I just want for me. I know that time is of the essence, and I don't want to one look back on this moment in life and be like, "Well, you were distracted because you was messing with." Da, 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 da. Like I want to be focused, and if I am going to take a moment or a piece of that focus away for somebody, they got to be worth it. Yeah, you know, I just don't have time for anything counterfeit. I, and, I, and I get that, but I think it's it's, it's probably difficult. You got to run. What you got? What you got going on? Oh no, no, no! I was just making sure we we're good on time. Oh, we are we good on time? No, we're not. We got to go. Ron, Ron's telling me we got to go, you guys. So we're gonna cut this. We're gonna we're gonna get <laughs> out of here. This is gonna be on on the video. So Ron's over here. I've known Ron forever, and he's letting me know right now. Uh, little light skin nigga, we got to go. L O L. We want to put you in uh, your color, okay? <laughs> light skin is fine. Your color is fine. Okay. It's anyway. okay. Okay, I'm just letting him know because Ron, Ron, Ron been getting on me for about 15 years now, bro. So I know it's cracking. That's but anyway, hilarious. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by inside of the galaxies. Thank you for stopping by the streets, and uh, I hope you enjoy L A. more. <laughs> I do enjoy. LA. It's good yeah. for work opportunities. I'm from Cali, homie, so I get I ain't know. got no problem with it. I film Bel Air over there. I make music over there. Right. I mean, hey, I, I'm living there and I'm working there and I'm getting my bag. Yeah. Here, and then we'll see where I'm going to be at. Yeah. So get the check and then, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back to the South and find you a good one, baby. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, man. You guys keep it locked right here, man. ET says, let's go.